Hello, in this video I shall be discussing five topics. The first topic is collar leaf nosed bats. So these are a kind of bats that have leaf, leaf kind of noses. They are present in collar, collar district of Karnataka. So we shall see about that. These are added under critically endangered species in IUCN list of threatened species. So the status they have got in the conservation efforts is critically endangered. They are seen exclusively in Kolar district of Karnataka state and not uh, all, 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 all over the Kolar district but only present in two caves in Kolar district. They are only present in these two caves and this has come into news because in one of the caves they got extincted. So now they are presently in only one cave in Kolar district. So this extinction in one of the caves has happened because of excessive granite mining in that area. So Kolar is famous for mining. So there are so many kinds of mines. But uh, nearby to these two caves there is this granite mining. So because of this granite mining this Kolar leaf nosed bats in one of the caves got extincted. So this is how the uh, news is made uh, in relation to these bats. So this granite mining in that area is a huge uh, threat to the habitat of collar leaf nosed bats in Karnataka. The next topic is IOSCO. The full form of IOSCO is International Organization of Securities Commission. So by the heading we can know that this is something related to securities that is about bonds and share markets and all. So this uh, particular organization looks after all the securities uh, related issues internationally. This is present in Madrid, Spain and it regulates mainly two things. They are world securities and future markets. So all the securities of all companies in the world and all the future markets in uh, share markets and all. So these are going to this organization is going to regulate these two things. And this is in use because even Indian uh, Financial Services Center has entered uh, into association with IOSCO. We'll see about that. This is International Financial Services Center Authority. So this is in India, Gujarat. So this is recently constituted by the Ministry of Finance in April 2020. So this particular International Financial Service Center Authority of India, this will look after all the security related issues of India. So this got associated with the International Organization of Securities Commission. So IFSCA became an associate recently which and this is also constituted very recently in April 2020. So IOSCO is about international securities things and IFSCA is about financial services in India. So Indian Financial Service Centre Authority has come into association with the International Securities Commission. And the next topic is Pong Dam Lake. So we'll see about this. Pong Dam Lake is a kind of reservoir. This is an earth filled reservoir. Earth filled reservoir in the sense it is an artificial reservoir built on the river Bees. So this is built in 1975. We shall see about that. And Pong Dam Lake in state, uh, it is present in the state of Himachal Pradesh. It has got two other names. It is also famously called Maharana Pratap Sagar and Pong Reservoir. So both of them is Pong Dam Lake only. So this is exactly present the very address of Pong Dam Lake is it is in the wetland zone in Shivalik Hills in Kangra district of Himachal Pradesh. So Kangra district of Himachal Pradesh has got Shivalik Hills. So in Shivalik Hills also there is a wetland area and in that wetland area this uh, reservoir is built uh, because BS river will be going through that wetland zone. So this is Pong Dam Lake. And this is in use because it has got more than 400 migratory birds found dead. So 400, more than 400 migratory birds um, or dead found dead in this Pong Dam Lake in this reservoir recently. And this is a huge uh, threatening news. So this is how this came into news. And these huge number of migratory birds are mostly coming from Central Asia, Mongolia, Siberia and Tibet from these four areas. They annually come here near Pong Dam Lake or near to the Beast River that flows through this uh, area. So every year they come and this year they are found dead. More than 400 of them are found dead. So this is, uh, you can remember that Pong Dam Lake is in use because of this uh, threatening news and also that this is a huge uh, area for migratory species, migratory birds visiting. So this is about it. The next topic is DRDO Foundation Day. DRDO is Defense Research and Development Organization. 
so this was founded on january 1st in the year 1958 so when it was founded it was a uh, it was a group of 10 laboratories that were that were made into drdo foundation drdo so this organization is formed by group of 10 laboratories so this year this drdo foundation day is the 63rd foundation day of drdo that is celebrated on january 1st 2021 and we know that this is about defense so this is related to defense sector so now it is extended to so many other developments and research but in the earlier days in early days it was having a single work that is to bring cutting edge equipment or technology into defense so cutting edge defense services or equipment we can also call it as leading equipment in defense or the most recent current it developments in defense or you can also call it as a state of the art technology into the defense services so bringing such latest technology anything you can call it by any name and i called it as cutting edge defense equipment and technology so it is to work for this end and also uh, the basic agenda on which drdo was situated was uh, built was to give technological development to iaf indian armed forces so this is the main reason and agenda under which drdo was founded and the 63rd foundation day is celebrated on january 1st this year the last topic for today is australian national anthem there is a news about this anthem we shall see that and advance australian fair this is the national anthem of australia advance australia fair so uh, in the eve of uh, this new year on december 31st 2020 the uh, prime minister of australia scott morrison has announced a change in the national anthem a single word in the national anthem so one word change in the second line of the anthem that is it used to be this way for we are young and free so this used to be the old version and the changed part is changed to be we are for we are one and free so this young word is replaced by one the word one so this is to reiterate on the pre colonial history of Uh, the australian country so this word ang denotes that uh, australia has got independence and after with the colon from the colonial rule so this ang word is representing post independent australia so it has emerged to be an ang country but even before independence even before colonial rule has come over there it is a country as its own so uh, in order to even reiterate on that pre colonial history also it has replaced this post independence word of ang emerging as ang into one and free so this is the new version of australian national anthem so these are all the five topics for today and thank you